In the 21st century, there's more than one way to chase down a perpetrator. The electric stand-up vehicle goes where traditional police and security cars can't. Sidewalks, parks, shopping malls, even airports. The officer stands for better visibility. For a suspect, there may be nowhere to run. This electric three-wheeler is the latest thing on the police beat. Not only can it travel in areas that are inaccessible to cars, but its environmental footprint is lighter than a regular police cruiser. It's energy efficient and it generates no local pollutants. Production starts with the vehicle's frame. An employee assembles the tube steel parts and welds them together. The next worker attaches the vehicle's control board panel to the welded frame. He inserts the steering shaft into the column and slides a plastic collar onto the bottom of the shaft. He secures the collar with screws and tightens the adjustment mechanism. He installs the second collar on the upper part of the steering shaft. The two collars will stabilize the shaft to keep the front wheel of the vehicle straight. He plugs the electric motor cable into the control panel. Next, another member of the team sprays a uniform layer of a gel coat onto a two-part mold of the vehicle chassis. The gel will act as a release agent for the finished chassis. They make the chassis from fiberglass. He sprays it evenly in pieces of the molds. He presses out air bubbles using a rubber roller. Fiberglass dries and solidifies, taking the shape of the mold. The surface is smooth, but there are some ragged bits around the edges. Those are sanded. He cuts out a slot in the upper part of the chassis for a police warning light. Finally, the chassis gets a coat of automotive grade white paint. He paints the wheel wells black, and with that, the outer chassis is complete. There's an interior panel, and it's made of fiberglass, too. A member of the team mounts it to the inside of the steel frame assembly. He then secures the outer panel to the vehicle frame. This electric three-wheel vehicle is ready for the rear wheel hubs and brake rotors. He clamps brake calipers to the rotors. The wheels are next. The rear ones are motorcycle wheels. For the front, they use a golf cart wheel. He equips the wheel with a pulley system to transfer energy from the motor. He installs the one horsepower motor and attaches the pulley to it. The motor is the size of a lunch bucket, but can pull up to 450 pounds and reach 20 miles per hour. He hooks up the front wheel to testing equipment and powers up. It evaluates the motor speed and noise. It also detects any undue strain or wheel wobbling. Satisfied with the front wheel assembly, he installs it on the vehicle. He wires and then attaches the throttle and brake control to the handlebar. They carpet the floor with non-slip rubberized foam and then slide the two rechargeable batteries into their respective compartments. The charge time is three to four hours. Next, this grab handle gives the driver something extra to hang on to. They equip the vehicle with warning lights and a high beam headlight. This electric patrol vehicle has been six hours in the making. And it's now ready for a spin. <laughs>